Hi, I'm John, the Community Currency Engineer Termel, and Jonathan J, who's working on setting up a community currency on Kauai in Hawaii Islands, wrote to ask me to say, how do you start one perfectly from scratch? And these are my suggestions. Kauai currency, K-A-U-A, apostrophe I, currency. Hawaii, the Hawaiian Islands. It's an article by Andrea Brower, special to the Garden Island, published May 17, 2009. So, it goes on. This past Friday, the Malama Kauai radio show on KKCR hosted Paul Glover, founder of Ithaca Hours, one of the most successful local currencies in the country. Local currencies are a tool of sustainable economic development. They are designed to build a local economy by maximizing circulation of trade within a defined region. Popular in the 1930s during the Great Depression, they are now seeing a revival in North America. They help to keep money local, build community connection, and incentivize business development in places where there are dollar leakages. Paul Glover states, we printed our own money because we watched federal dollars come to town, shake a few hands, and leave to buy rainforest lumber and fight wars. Ithaca Hours, by contrast, stay in our region to help us hire each other. Well, actually, a lot of Ithaca Hours left the region, but as long as they have enough to do their economy at home, who cares how many collectors have them in their, in their collections? While dollars make us increasingly dependent on transnational corporations and bankers, ours reinforce community trading and expand commerce, which is more accountable to our concerns for ecology and social justice. And who cares how many five-hour IOUs are spent overseas by people vacationing in Europe and other places, as long as you got plenty of hours back home to fund the transactions. There are over 900 participating businesses in Ithaca, including grocery stores, movie theaters, farmers, and medical clinics, and thousands of people receive hours. One hour equals $10. Big key point. As part of their paycheck. Through the system, business loans are offered at no interest. Bingo. Hundreds of nonprofits have received grants. And a very affordable cooperative health insurance system is thriving. Ours have even become popular souvenir and special attraction for the visitor industry. In a similar system in Massachusetts, six banks offer exchange for the local currency, Berkshires. And over one million Berkshires were circulated in the first nine months of the project. Susan Witt, co-founder of Berkshires, published the following analysis in Orion magazine. Berkshires are a cash buy-in model. You need cash to buy in, not just time. So that's got one weakness, but they can incorporate time as the collateral to anytime they wish. Most of today's national currencies are no longer commodity-based. Well, most of them are. When was the last time you got a loan without putting up collateral to get your new credits? So they are based. And, but by ne intentionally narrowing our choices of consumer goods to those locally made, local currencies allow us to know more fully the stories of items purchased. Well, you don't have to not go to Europe and spend your hours in Europe if Europe will take your five-hour bill there. All it means is that you're not narrowing your choices, but you now can more fully use your choices on locally made things. So, uh, so inspired by Malama Kawaii Friday radio show, a group will be meeting on June 20th last month to discuss the possibilities of local currency and investment systems on Kauai. For details, visit malamakawaiinews.org. Andrea Bauer is the project supervisor for Malama Kauai and can be reached at andrea at malamakawaii.org. So, I got a letter from someone from uh, Jonathan J because I made the comment, and he said, well, listen, how do you do it right the first time with all the mistakes you keep talking about? Well, let me give you an example here. You have the Madison Hours system, like the Ithaca Hours system, and they're having a proposal adding a let system to Madison Hours. Now, they want to basically allow people to go into the negative, use credits like a checking account, which is how LETS works. The basic models are LETS, which is your perfect model, interest-free credit account, and you can also issue paper notes. So think of it as checks that everybody accepts. Then you have the time bank, 
and that is the model with the flaw of everybody's hour being equal. And you have hours where no one can stop the car mechanic from saying, I want three hours per hour to fix your car. So they have no car mechanics on the time bank system. They have no doctors on the time bank system. They only have people who claim a one hour bill. Uh, and then you have the Berkshires, which is a cash buy-in poker chip system. Only cash, not time. So how do you fix these things? Well, let's is perfect. Let's you buy in for time. It is like a time bank, except it doesn't have the fatal flaw of the limit. Now, people don't realize that let's is a time bank because it's connected to the community, to the local currency. Green dollars, 12 green dollars per Canadian hour, 10 green dollars per American hour. But every let system, when they start, the first thing they do is pick how many local dollars to the hour so that let systems are time-based currencies. It's just not in the forefront, like in a time bank or an hour system, but it does apply. So for 60 green dollars, that's five hours. That's what I paid when I went overseas. So you can, as long as you can link to the hour, you're safe. So those are the main models. Time banks, well, that's a let's with the fatal flaw. Berkshires, well, that's just cash buy-in only. Should have time buy-in too. Ithaca Hours, well, Ithaca Hours is a perfect model, except it's a dinky toy. They give everybody $40 in chips. I mean, I can't even run my local poker game with everybody only starting with $40, let alone an economy. How is a car manufacturer or a car dealer in town going to be able to trade a car for a thousand meals at the restaurant? He can't using Ithaca Hours. There's not enough chips. In the 1999 Community Currency Convention in Chicago, the girl from Ithaca Hours was complaining about so many people were taken home in souvenirs, they didn't have enough to do business. We'll print more. Jeez, how can you run a game with only 40 bucks and chips apiece? So, other than being a dinky toy, though, Ithaca Hours is a perfect model, except it doesn't have an internet component. You got to be able to have an internet online notice board and credit account if you want to be able to do trades with the rest of the world. The rest of the world are now trading hours and minutes, telephone minutes around. You have to too. So you've got the proper unit, the hour, but you don't have the right media. You only have one medium, paper. You should have like let's paper and computer credits and e-minute if you can, e telephone minutes if you can. So and of course over in uh, the Madison let's they're going to keep it a pure hours system, and their let's credits, going into the negative positive, are going to be dealt with only in hours, but they don't make the link to the $10 bill like Ithaca Hours does. So they have a flaw. They can't easily be compatible with every business in town, like Ithaca, who have 900 businesses, because everybody knows what a $10 hour is worth. So, Madison, fix it. Add $10 to your hour, then you'll have a perfect Let's Madison hours. So, in a nutshell, how do you run your poker chips so you don't screw up? Well, you avoid the major flaws. Now, if you ever hear someone talking about demurrage, these are egghead philosophers talking about reducing the value of your poker chip so the value of the chip changes. Can you imagine anything as stupid as changing the value of your chips? Well, when they talk about demurrage, changing the value of the chips, know you're talking to a moron or a mole who's trying to sabotage your system. Demurrage is unnecessary and stupid. So. How to run a system perfectly, your poker chips perfectly, go hire a casino banker and say, we want you to run our chips computer-wise or paper-wise or token-wise, whatever you want. doesn't matter what the medium is as long as it's interest-free. And, of course, notice boards, that's a different story. How do you vend, what you do with your chips, I don't care about as long as you run your chips right. So, Kawaii Cash, that's how I would run it right. 
I would avoid the equal value for everybody's time. That's going to kill the time banks and has killed every other equal time value barter system in the past. And I would avoid the only buy-in with cash like Burke shares, but I would allow the buy-in for cash and give a 10% premium if you need cash to pay the phones. Nothing wrong with giving people a premium for buying in with cash, scarce cash. And uh, finally, Ithaca Hours is doing it perfectly except for being too small. And the ideal is let's. And I would mention that the Unilets, which is the United Nations international and local employment trading software means the chips should be sufficient to do all your local trading like all they keep reporting it sustains local the economy but at the same time your chips should be usable internationally so you can go to Europe and not have to pay cash like I did too so I think I've covered all the flaws that are currently out there in the different models and I think the suggestion that an online as well as paper local as well as international token system by adopting the time that standard of money is your best bet.